Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. This one is all about uh, sports and I guess my experience with uh, transitioning while doing sports and how that worked and yeah, just in general, like to be a fun video to show some of the sports that I do. Um, I just actually finished bar class. Um, now I've been doing this for about a month and a half now, I guess almost. And if you've never heard of bar before, it's uh, spelled B-A-R-R-E. And what it is is basically just a, uh, a full body workout um, at to ballet style uh, and music. So uh, I started this when I was uh, looking for something to kind of get me back in shape as well as as a trans woman um, it was kind of cool to experience something a little more traditionally feminine I guess at least from how I uh, take it it's been really cool and I'd, I highly recommend it if you're looking to get into something that uh, just kind of gets you out of the house and, and whatnot obviously bar is not for everyone um, I understand that something like that can be pretty intimidating because it's a uh, it's ballet and as a trans woman that was one thing I had to overcome was that it was um, something that was pretty ex I was pretty exposed during it I guess at the start and uh, you just have like I'm I grew up playing sports like hockey and so I, I'm not very graceful but I'm learning and Bar does teach some of that, as well as just kind of get you uh, your muscles in good shape. So, uh, yeah, my my uh, my advice to to do bar is, I've seen all sorts of people. There are some guys that do it. I've seen um, there's all ages that do it at the one where I am, and uh, and then I'm a trans woman, and so it's kind of all sorts of people. It's it's not as uh, exclusive to uh, younger women, cis women, as you may think. So feel free to give it a try. Uh, I think you'd really enjoy it if, that's, if dance is something you're looking to get into. Just be prepared to be tired afterwards because it's, it's very exhausting for the muscles. Um, but today being a Saturday morning, it's, uh, it wakes you up and kind of gets you going for the day. So here's to a, here's to a good Saturday. Some of you may be asking, I guess, um, when I do when I do a workout like bar, I, I don't actually, um, I have been able to get over the fact that I, I don't wear makeup during it. All I really do in the morning is just make sure that my facial hair is shaved down. Um, I'm able to do this stuff without shaving sometimes. So, um, and, and I think if you're concerned about something like that, give it time. You may find that uh, one day you don't, don't either, it's like you don't care as much, or, um, yeah, it's not as big of a deal. Because um, it does take some time in the morning, and when you're doing especially like a, a sweaty workout type of thing, um, the last thing I really want is to have uh, makeup on, <laughs> because it's just going to run, and, or just be uncomfortable. Time to go get some food at the grocery store for a yummy breakfast. All right, got some groceries. Time to head home and cook some yummy food. Eggs. Best before date is a few week, couple weeks ago. So, if you've ever had eggs that you weren't sure if they were good or not, like the ones I have right here, they expired October 15th. <laughs> Today is November 3rd, so it's been a little bit. So. Uh, what do you do? Well, you take a um, some sort of dish that's deep enough, deeper. You want it about, I'd say, uh, to hold enough water where it's uh, at least 
twice the height of the egg, I guess. Um, so what you do is you put your eggs So you take your egg, and this is cold water, by the way, and you put them in. If they sink and stay down, they're actually still good. If they float, they're bad. So let's try the rest. So they all seem to be sunk. Uh, none of them are actually floating. So take that uh, best before date. I'm not sure where I learned that. Uh, I think I just kind of picked it up somewhere, probably on like the internet, but it seems to work. So hasn't failed me yet. All right, there we go. Um, it's obviously not the, the most conventional breakfast. Uh, I generally do a lot of meals where I just kind of throw things together. And as long as they get me every ingredient, um, every food group that I'm looking for and it kind of gives me the energy, um, it is what it is. All right, so we are now at the University of Calgary campus at the Olympic Oval. Um, I'm about to meet a couple of friends to watch the World Cup uh, short track speed skating event that's being hosted right now at uh, the Olympic Oval. And uh, I actually used to speed skate myself. I did long track, however, and uh, that was about five years ago I retired from that. Uh, so it's been a while, but I still love to go watch it from time to time. Uh, seems like a life ago, but it's still a lot of fun. So let's go check it out. So, races are over, uh, it's actually later at night now, I'm at hockey, and I guess I just wanted to touch a little bit on the sport that really allowed me to transition within the sport. Um, so I play on a rec league, um, it's generally a men's, but it's unofficially a men's league, like um, women are allowed to play, there just really aren't that many, so it's mostly men's. Um, so this is the team I played on for roughly probably about three years before it transitioned and it um so one so i started taking hormones in april 2017 and by i took the summer off that year because i just couldn't deal with the double life um while i was um really starting my transition i guess 
so come the fall, I actually um, got in contact with the team rep again, and um, the way I did it was I emailed him. He knew uh, that I was trans at that point, and uh, I explained to him why, like, so I wanted to come back and play. And he basically said, "Okay, what do you want to do?" And I was like, "Well, why don't we want to?" So I got him to send an email out to the team, basically saying that a trans woman was looking to play on the team, and if anyone had an issue with that, um, supposedly just a couple of people responded saying they just had a question, like, um, like clarifying trans woman, right? Anyways, so. Um, that was about it. So I was like, okay, let's do this. So I joined the team again, and I changed in separate change rooms because that's what I'm more comfortable with. Um, obviously, as things like body are changing, and especially back then, it was a lot really quickly, and I wasn't very comfortable with everything still. Um, so I still do it today. Uh, I still get my own change room. Uh, or the, the female one if it's available and it's been great um, everyone on the team has been really helpful and supportive and respectful um, most of them just kind of take it as it came um, it really wasn't that big of a deal which makes me really happy because it's hockey it's a sport I'm still me and they see me differently now obviously but I'm still the same hockey player and to me, hockey really should be, it's its everyone, one gender. Like, there is no gender in hockey, in other words. The sport is a gender. So it's been really great. So I've been doing this, and it's helping me stay active, and I still love hockey so much, so I'm glad this worked out. So I'm going to go play now. I'll probably chat with you all later. Well, that's it for this video. Um, my hockey, we lost 9-2. to two. So, not the greatest game, but it was still a lot of fun. I'm just happy to be playing again. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll, I'm looking to probably get one done maybe middle of the week, uh, this coming week. So, look for that. And I'm happy to say that I uh, have over 100 subscribers at this point. So, yay! Thank you for subscribing, all you people listening to this. Um... You guys uh, make the difference because this, it's why I do this content. Uh, it's it's why it's you're the reason I'm doing it. So um, thank you and keep sharing the channel with anyone that may be interested. All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye.